All right, welcome everybody to our show and tell session for RUAC Spoon Challenge 43. This one is a, uh, a bag clip or a chip clip and I printed it out and I don't have any, or I meant to grab it and I forgot to grab it off the printer. But in any case, it is a chip clip design by Mozzie the Maker. And I'm gonna uh, have Mozzie jump in here and tell us a little bit about how he came up with his version of a chip clip and uh, then we'll take it from there for our show and tell. Um, and before we do that, just a quick note, our RUAC Spoon Challenge 44 template is posted up onto the Rise Up and Carve website. And it is a double-ended measuring spoon by Barry uh, down in Australia. And so go up there, check that one out. And Barry is going to be on with us tomorrow. I have to put a post up about this. I haven't done it yet uh, for a, it's not really a demo, but it's more gonna be, he'll just do a quick little show and tell of his version of this double-ended measuring spoon, table, teaspoon, tablespoon on either end. And he'll talk a little bit about his process and all that, and it will be recorded. And hopefully we'll get it posted up quicker than we have been of late. We haven't even posted up our last show and tell session yet. So hopefully we'll get that done in the next week or so and get it posted up. But with that, I'm going to highlight and spotlight Mozzie here and Mozzie, take it away. Awesome. So yeah, um, chip clip for me started, uh, I think the first that I ever saw was uh, Pat's, you know, the famous clip knocky clip, right? Yep. Um, and I think the I think when I asked him questions about it, the first time I went to his gathering, he said, don't copy it. So, you know, no pressure, right? You got to come up with something that's at least slightly your own. So I carved <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of pat knockoffs. And then I was like, all right, how can I make this different? So um, it's not really that different. It's just that, um, you know, you keep the shape different and you and you, you know, a lot, and, and I don't know if he does it the same way that I do. But basically, uh, it's just out of necessity, right? We all have chips or crisps on our counter and uh, we need a way to like, you know, um, seal the bag up, keep them, keep them somewhat fresh. Um, the big thing for me that I use it for is coffee. So uh, it's, it's more of a coffee clip, I'd say, than a chip clip for me. And, um, you know, I've uh, different versions of it, but I've even got one now with a scoop on it so that your scoop and your chip clip are all ah. one. And it's clips right on the bag, uh, proprietary design here, just like Pat, don't copy it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and uh, yeah, so like, you know, just it's out of necessity. Same thing with this, right? Just a regular chip clip, put a, put a scoop on the end and then everything's all in one spot. So that's- It's a like slip. A, there you go. It's a slip <laughs> or whatever. So yeah, uh, not a whole lot to it. Just, uh, you know, keep it simple. I am working right now on an order of 100 clips. It's my biggest order I've ever gotten. Wow. So, Production um, mode. Yeah. So that's, uh, um, my hands are tired. They're small to carve as we, as anybody yeah. who's carved them has seen, but um, they're a ton of fun. So, you know, quick carve and kind of one of those things that like everybody needs a chip clip, you know, some people won't eat with a wooden spoon, but most people will put a chip clip on their bag. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's a great seller and something, you know, you can sell relatively, hopefully inexpensively, depending on how quickly you can knock them out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have a few with different finials or are you doing all yeah, just plain yeah. ones? Yeah. So I'm doing everything I'm doing for this order is, uh, is all finial work. So, okay. so I've got like, you know, the one with uh, the heart on it, like that's on the template. Nice. And then, um, like this one is supposed to be a squid. It's got little suction cups <laughs> on it. And yep. Uh, yep. And then you know this one here, kind of like some of the other ones other people have done, octagonal or yeah, octagonal. Yep. And um, another one here with a little more curve in the in the in the actual clips, but with another heart on top. So this is part of that order, and uh, it's for a coffee company. So. They, um, you know, they, they, they sell a ton of coffee and they're basically they, their best seller right now is the clips. Nice. So, um, so that's who's, who's got the big order. And I was going to do just regular ones, but my thing is kind of the finial and it sets it apart from Pat and I don't have to worry about the ogre chasing me down. So we're good. Nice. Very good. Awesome, Mozzie. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing your, uh, your template with us and, uh, we're going to start knocking them out and selling them wholesale too. 
<laughs> Only kidding. Yeah, hey, you know, it's all good. Share the wealth. Awesome. Thanks. All right. With that, who would like to go first? Wave your hand. All right, John in Scotland. Let me get you spotlighted. How are we doing? All right. These, I'd seen the template beforehand, and so the first morning, the last show and tell, I did two little thistle ones. Awesome. Classic. Awesome. Yeah. And then after that, I found basically all the off cuts of wood, they're both cherry, and then so another thistle one. Nice. Awesome. Then I carved one. A snowman. A snowman. <laughs> uh, nice. My wife, yeah, my wife saw them, so they have now, well, it's easier if you just, well, there's yeah. more snowmen. More oh, snowmen. That's, <laughs> that's great. More snowmen. Wow. They're like that's great awesome. Ones. They multiply. Yeah. You'll have to do you'll have to do green man ones for summer, snowman ones for winter. We'll do you know a pumpkin head one for uh, fall. What can we do for spring? You need you need to sell them in sets of four, all four seasons. Well, she wow, saw them. There we go. That's marketing. Saw them say basically, oh, well, they're ideal for Christmas. We're just jagging on a presents, and they say they're quite funny. Yeah, and brilliant. That's the same. And then as Mozzie was before I saw Mozzie's, I did one, and it's. A coffee's good. Nice, yeah. Awesome. Right there. It's not copyrighted. And then the final one, I did a big heavier coffee scoop. It's more like a kooksa. So if you like awesome. coffee. That's fantastic. That's it. But it's basically these painted ones, they're actually chunks of green oak. Uh, oh, wow. And it was wow. Just on the off cuts for anything else, I just started doing them. But laterally, these, they're, I don't know if you can tell, they're done in the lathe because there's that many to do. You see, so I started great. making the way to try and keep up because she wanted loads of them. You see, so it was about the last six, I think, I did them on the way. So they're really quick to do that as well. And then finish cutting them and carving them after that. But you can rough them out two at a time in the way in about five minutes. So it's I'm not seen them, but, <laughs> but so no, they're quite good. This is like I say, we don't use them for uh, chips because we don't get bags of crisp that big. <laughs> So yeah, all eating in one go, and even the coffee ones, my coffee goes into like metal containers to do it. So, but we'll give them a go and see how they got on. They do for think, bags of uh, frozen chips in the freezer. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll there put you the go. In the freezer. That's right. <laughs> but uh, they're quite good to make. Like, it's something completely different. I would never have thought of making. You know, I quite enjoyed them. They're so good idea. Awesome. awesome. Fantastic job. They're awesome. I love the snowman. Those are so cool. <laughs> yeah, that was a brilliant idea. All right. Who would like to go next? All right, Suzanne. I feel like I haven't seen you in like a year. Yeah, probably because I, probably because I haven't been on in a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been I haven't been very very regularly on either, so it's both our faults. <laughs> there we go. Well, it's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too, Jack. So I I turned it on the lace as well. Nice. My first one. Awesome. And the, the wood was so nice. And on from, when you look from the top, it almost looks like ice. It's very yeah. scary. Oh, cool. yeah. <laughs> so because it was so, so nice, I, I didn't do anything else to decorate it. That's very awesome. nice. And I, I like I like the the shape of the of the bubble of the yeah. Head. So yeah, I left it at that. And then what, what kind of wood is that? Um, that is basswood, and the 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 okay. is, um a bit of bark that is like very um, cool. Yeah, oh, it was wow. on the on the corner somewhere, or yeah, or yep. a branch or something. Love but, it. And then this was the second one. And people have been saying it's ash. I don't know. It it looks like it looks table. like ash. Yeah, it looked like a table leg. The, the piece that I made it out mm -hmm. of. So it was it was actually varnished and everything. But oh wow, yeah, it came out pretty nice. It has a very nice grain pattern. 
And again, yeah. because the grain was so nice, I didn't care to decorate anymore. And it's only pretty from this side. It's not pretty from this side. <laughs> 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 this is the same. <laughs> it's very wonky. <laughs> So now let me ask you a question. Do you drill your hole first and then cut your line or do you cut the line and then drill the hole? Good question. Good question. We were pondering that, um, Dad and I. And uh, with these, um, I think we drilled it first and then cut the line. And okay. today I made one and um, I first I cut the line first and then drilled the hole. Okay. And also, I, I drilled it from, from this side to the middle and then turned it around and drilled it from the other side to the middle. And that actually, that did the trick. So this is the the third one. Love it. Today. Oh, that's awesome. I wanted at least one with the, with a little funny head and, and yeah. I the only thing I could think of. <laughs> but Love it. You can see the, the hole is much more centered. It's, it's much better than the other two. Yeah. Awesome. And, and actually, actually, with the, with the 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 size of the clip itself, they look like owl wings. So that's yeah, perfect. Exactly. <laughs> that's really cool. I like it. And then I, I I carved one because I didn't want to be too too lazy, but it was very <laughs> hard. <laughs> I was gonna go quickly cut one out on a bandsaw and rip the thing with uh with the bandsaw also and and bring it in just leave it totally blocked just a square block with <laughs> with the hole and that's it. <laughs> but it would work so yeah. No. <laughs> and then nice. Dad made one and he also turned it but uh, the same idea with the coffee clip so nice awesome yeah. <laughs> well, nice think alike. Yeah. Now did you all come up with that independently or did someone yeah. post one? No. Brilliant. Yeah. I mean, See? I only saw the posts of, of the of the other ones after Dad made his. Okay. That's um, awesome that you all came <laughs> up with the same concept. That's really cool. I have to say, it's pretty incredible. And uh, at, at the same time, it also shows when you think you have an original idea, how many people have already thought of it. Or yeah. Absolutely. There's so, nothing new under the sun. Absolutely. I've seen it somewhere before because... I don't think I came up with it, but just it was just ling lingering in the Sloyd brain. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Excellent job, fantastic. So, Mozzie, just going back to that same question, I meant to actually ask you that as well. What's your order of operations when you're doing these, especially now that you're in production mode? Yeah, so right now in production mode, I do have a bandsaw. So I cut, um, I wish I had one here with me, but... I cut, I cut them out on the bandsaw, you know, cut the legs out and everything. And then I drill from one side, drill from the other. Um, well, actually, so what I used to do was just drill a hole straight through. And yeah. I used to have the same thing happen. The blade would wander when I used the handsaw. Now I drill from one side, drill from the other. And then I, I usually use the bandsaw to cut that, that strip. And then I okay. just clean that up with a knife. So, yeah, awesome. yeah. I mean, I, I think it's just a matter of, really at the end of the day as long as the um the cut hits the circle all the yeah. circle does is spread that force out so it doesn't break the clip so, yeah so it doesn't split you know, it doesn't i was wondering breaking. about that up top like if anybody's had like you've tried to force too much bag into the the narrow oh, yeah. opening and ended up splitting the whole thing apart yeah when i first made one i oriented the grain the wrong way and i kept snapping legs off uh, and, okay uh, yeah. and that was the reason why so and i think i was on with orin and he said that change it the other way so yeah awesome all right thanks both of you who would like to go next wave a hand don't be shy all right rachel we spotlight you and don't forget to unmute yourself yeah uh, so you've seen my um well, yeah we don't call them chips they're crisps and i have my evidence here that they are crisps, crisps. It's official. Uh, so I, I, I was getting really irritated by calling them <laughs> chip clips. Uh, so I, then I came up with, with just making them like chips, what we call chips. You might call them something different, but these are chips. Here Freedom. in the US, here in the US, we call them clothespins. <laughs> <laughs> you don't eat clothespins. So, but the, the, the joyful Maybe thing French about fries. these. A lot of us call them French fries. Freedom That's right, fries. French fries, freedom fries, if you're uh, of a certain persuasion. Pick up chips. 
Nice. Um, but but they were just so much fun to make because it's all just straight edges. And then I thought, oh, as well as it being fun, it's oh my god, that yeah. one makes me. You got to do a Mr. Gumby one. <laughs> What's yeah. that? You've got another cultural right? reference that I don't know. He was a character from back in, was it the 60s, I think, when uh, Gumby was a, and he has an angular head. He's very elongated, rectangular with an angular head and then arms and legs. So it, that totally, for whatever reason, snapped that image yeah. back into my head. Go ahead. Well, Sorry. I did a lot of research looking at chips, obviously, to make sure that I got like the angles pretty good. That's right. And, you know, the re uh, realistic. Uh, but yeah, they were good fun. And then I had to paint them to make them look even more like chips. That's um, awesome. So it, see, see, a little bit of irritation breeds inspiration, right? <laughs> you literally made chip clips, so. But exactly. You're welcome. Because the, the only way they can be chip clips is if I make them look like a chip. This is the point. Fair enough. Hey, Fair enough. irritation creates pearls, man. <laughs> you know, oysters and pearls. It's the same thing. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. Excellent job, oh, Rachel. Before Thanks. I go. Uh, yeah. I, I, for me, I, I, I'm really poor at sawing in a straight line. So I decided that my method would be saw first, and then sight the hole along the saw cut. Um, wow! And that was relatively successful. And then, of course, you can always straighten up the sides when it's just something like this. You know, if you have gone wonky, because right. you do. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, just a quick thank you from everybody to Rachel for organizing our, which which number is this, our third annual right, Ruex Spoon Swap? It's the fourth one. Fourth one? Is it fourth? Mm -hmm. Wow. Time flies, man. We've been going but, for four years. We must have been. Well, we started February of 19. So this will be yeah. our fourth anniversary. Yeah. So I have a feeling this is only three. But no, I could... because last year, I definitely had two numbers before. Yeah, you know, people said, how many have you got to? And I definitely stepped back. Oh, you're right. This would be the fourth. You know, you're right. Because yeah. the first 2019 would have been the first one. Yeah. 2020, yeah. 2021. And now this year is 2022. So you're right. This would be the fourth. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Just out of curiosity, how many total participants did we have? Do you know? I didn't know. I, somewhere in my brain, there is that knowledge, but I can't do it <laughs> just like that. Rough, I think 135 guess. or so. Wow. So slightly fewer than last, last year. I'm sorry, how many? Roughly? 135. Wow. All right. That's awesome. Yeah. Excellent. So we're going well, thank... to have a show and tell for your swap spoon sometime in December. Um, okay. Let me know the, best... the date because I just yeah, want to make sure. sure I don't set up the show and tell for whichever one that would be. We can, always, we can always jump around it. It's no yeah. problem. Okay, uh, cool. The best way that you can thank me for organizing it is to get that spoon of yours for me. I will. I will I will have it out in the mail on Monday <laughs> without fail. Good I'm boy. most of the way there. It's just finishing. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. And beyond that, everybody can just send money to Rachel. That, she'll appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, that's <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. All right. Who would like to go next? Wave a hand. All right, Sonny. So, hello everyone. Since I since I finally uh, got motivated and did something this time around, I only did one, but I did a little alligator clip. Nice. Is in in walnut, and I carved it with dry wood. So I decided to actually would sand it. This, and I, I only decided that this morning. So this morning I sanded him up and uh, put some oil on him, but for the last week or so, he's been upstairs holding together a bag of uh, Tostitos, like uh, chips. So he's been in, in, in uh, use, uh, holding the chips together. My wife found him in the pantry and was like, this is cute. She, she wanted to keep it. And I was like, well, I got to go show it to people first and uh, <laughs> sanded it up and it'll go back upstairs now and, and get back into production use. But yeah, that's what I came up with. I, I initially th thought it would be like a um an alligator kind of looks more dragon like but yeah yeah it would, uh, both would be great yeah that's awesome. i love it thanks again very very cool thank you sunny for putting together our templates and getting everything yes. posted up to our site as always you sunny is the most giving generous man on the planet i am convinced 
Uh, thank you so much for your time, effort, and work for on behalf of RUAC. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, everyone. All right. Who would like to go next? Wave a hand. Alligator. Brilliant. Love it. All right, John, let me get you spotlighted. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is the one I have up on Instagram. Nice. I just finished this one last night, so it's not no pictures yet. Um, Love that. I just try to be a little bit fancier than the rest of you guys. <laughs> you Excellent. See, but he's got a nice mane on, that goes over the top of his head. Very nice. Um, so I always drill the hole first and then stick in a clamp and then my sharp dozuki yep. and try to go, you know, like down one side, swap it over, do the other, try to keep that line straight because the the first one, the line was not even close. So <laughs> uh, this one's way better. The line's a lot nicer. These are both the same piece of uh, dark walnut, black walnut, sorry. Beautiful. Sapwood, heartwood. Yep. It was a really pretty billet. I wish I could have got them, uh, shared the wood on each of them, but I split it, but there's mine. <laughs> Now, is that one going to be a chocolate glazed donut? Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah, you like that? This is, Love it. I'm going to carve That's a second so cool. one really fast. So that was my design. And really cool. Took about a quarter of this one of time. So, Love yeah. it. Love that horse. Very Viking. Uh, if, yeah, you know, there you go. Flavored. Nice very Norse. Very, that's what I'm aiming for. Thank you so yeah. much. You, you captured it perfectly. Really well done. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Who would like to go next? Don't be shy, all y'all. Hey, pay attention. Stop working on what you're working on. Come on. <laughs> Wave a hand. Show your stuff. <laughs> does, does, do you guys not have anything? Are you just here to for the... Okay, so you're here to observe. You, nobody else has a... a you, you do? Suzanne, do you want to go? I'm going to spotlight you. Yeah. Well, I haven't. Uh, the closest I've come to a bag holder is this one. <laughs> nice. It's impressive. <laughs> See? Clothes pins, I'm telling you. <laughs> have a whole nother market, Bozzy. You can, you, can, you can start selling custom clothes pins. Forge yeah. springs. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, actually, I started on a bunch. Uh, but these were, wow. in the beginning, made, uh, supposed to be on a uh, pin board, like hanging clothes on. But um, yeah, they all dried, but I decided to uh, go for this. And now when I've been sitting here, checking you out, I came to think of first that one. Oh, yeah. Cool. Like for, for very, very easy. I was thinking to have the bar left and just cut and uh, paint the face on it and the red hat for the Christmas season. Nice. Then, uh, then we were talking about the um, coffee scoop. So yep. I just quickly draw yeah. one. And then I came up, hey, I'm, I'm not using chip pins or whatever. I want to have a bag pin. So. I'm gonna make a bag pin. That's from the side, no, the front, front, and uh, that's the side. Oh, cool. So awesome. I just came to think of those ideas now when I was sitting here, but I've been working so much with my old house, trying to sell it and tearing it apart and stuff. So I haven't had time much to do work. Yeah. So you're, you're selling your house and you're moving? No, no, I'm going to live in this house, but I have another house. Oh, okay. Way that I supposed to be living in from the beginning, but okay. it was not livable. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck. I hope everything works out well for you. Thank you. You're not awesome. interested in a house in Sweden? Oh, I would love. I just... <laughs> Don't have the money for one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We could do a Ruat clubhouse. If everybody That's right. shipped in, we could have That's a right. clubhouse. And it, there that would we be go. Awesome. That would be very awesome. 
uh, give me his contributions and I fix it. <laughs> that's right. Well, be like a timeshare. As I was just going to say, yeah. sell it as a timeshare for uh, all rise up and carve uh, participants. Yeah. Nice. I got to get a passport first, but we'll get there. There you go. The passport part is the easiest part. Will Will they sell in Sweden to a foreigner? I guess they would, yes. right? Absolutely, no problem. You would just have to get a visa to come there. over there, right? Do we need Whenever a visa, or can we just over. travel freely? I don't even know. I don't. Even, I haven't traveled internationally in so long. I don't even know. I got to find out because I'm going to Israel this spring. So. Well, so far, what I know, that's free to travel wherever you want to the earth, on cool. top of the earth, because we don't have any restrictions here regarding yeah. the corona and, and stuff like that. All right. Cool. Awesome. Well, th thank. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I was just uh, replying to your thing about people abroad that can buy houses in Sweden. That's no problem. That because okay. it was a couple of the German people that were owning this house before I bought it. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I just don't think I would ever be able to. I don't be, probably be able to get over there once in my lifetime. <laughs> That's what the timeshare hopes for. Right. Exactly. All right. Did anybody else have something that they want to show or share? If not, we'll switch over to Instagram. All right, John, let me get you spotlighted. Here we go. So I did not make anything from the template. Um, however, I did something that in my weird twisted mind can sort of uh, count. <clears throat> I uh, <clears throat> repaired some uh, castanets for uh, one of my students and made a handle for it. And uh, this is how it turned out. So nice. There's a pair of them here. But I just realized that I could have snuck this in as being a, a chip clip. A chip clip. <laughs> there you go. It it's works brilliant. Well. Love oh, it. It's a, it's a clip with a handle. It's awesome. Right. That, that, if it held it tighter, I suppose I could just carry the bag with the handle. But I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> it's it, right it serves double duty for That's all of fantastic. your chip clip castanet needs it's all yeah. right there it's it's better than a scoop and a chip clip so far as i'm or a coffee clip so far as i'm right. concerned yeah <laughs> so when you show up at the pub and you don't have a pair of spoons to play that's right you always pull out your castanets because yes everybody will always have a pair of castanets in their back you can play along hey and if it's a that actually works party that, that brings up another idea. Carve the two long pieces in the shape of a spoon. Now you have a pair of wooden spoons that you can close a bag with for your crisps, and you can play the spoons while you're sitting there along with the uh, with the session that's going on. Infinite that's possibilities. Right. That way Love you can it. play a tango or an English folk song, or if you're hungry, you're all set. That's right. Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. That's awesome. Thanks, John. All Fantastic. right. Hey, Alan. Can anybody over there in Israel hear us? You guys don't have anything to share? Okay. I see George is over there. Say hi for us. Ryan's there too. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're over there. Look at that. Man. You guys all have to come back in the spring when I'm over there. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that. awesome. That definitely breeds FOMO, that, that image right there. Right? All day long. Totally. I am very envious. All right. With and that. None of them have a crisp clip at all? None of those 10 guys? Nah, you know, a bunch of slackers. What do you want? All right. I will share my screen and I'll go through what I can for our, uh, for what's up on the hashtag. Interesting. What you said about the uh, not being able to see all the posts on my desktop, I can only see nine. Yeah, me too. It's the but same on thing. My, on my phone and on my iPad, I can see 12. Right. You can choose whether it's top or most recent. And with most recent, you can see them all. For some reason, on my, my desktop, I can only see the, the, them sorted by top post. 
Right. So and there's, no, said, there's no option for all. Right. It's really irritating. I don't understand why they would do that. Anyway, there's our template. Awesome chip carving by Mr. Glenn Denning. That is really cool. Very cool. His chip carving is just so precise. I love it. Nice. There's Suze's beautiful picture. I love the eyebrows over the eyes. That's <laughs> awesome. Very nice. Oh, this is cool. Did, did yeah. you guys all see Marla's? This is, this is really neat. Very cool. Absolutely brilliant. The duck bill and the alligator idea that Sonny did, I think are just brilliant. Very cool. And she got the idea from that, from, uh, the image of somebody putting two Pringles in their mouth, like their lips. Oh, that's where she came up with the idea. She was explaining it to us one night. That's awesome. That's really cool. David banging out a bunch of chip clips or bag clips, crisp clips, whatever we want to call them. Wow. Crisp clips. <laughs> Try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> Whoops, did I, I think I didn't scroll through, hold on. There we go. It's funny that his picture looks exactly like mine because he sent me that, the, the, this coffee. Yeah. I think the week before. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I was like, that looks familiar. <laughs> that's why, thank you for pointing that out. So cool. More chip carving in a chip clip. Love it. Did he do the um, cordage as well, I think? Yeah, he did. Very cool. Wow. Love it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I love that one. That's a great idea, too. Love it. Cool. Really nicely done. That's fantastic. Yeah, I, that, that was one of the first ones I think I saw and I was just like, ah, very cool. Very Norse, you Perfect. captured it perfectly, John. Thank you, I don't, the photographer needs some work, but did you put <laughs> Uh, it's, it's fine. I was the reason why I, I recognized it was because I was going to do bed posts like that, and I think that's a there's a there's like a is it the Osberg or one of the there's a there's a really well known Viking bed post that it's horse heads like that on both sides of the headboard. Um, yeah, it might be the Osberg. Um, I think it is. I'm, oh, by the yeah. way, did you guys happen to notice that they discovered? In Stockholm Harbor, the sister or brother, I guess it would be a sister ship because ships are always female, the sister ship to the Vasa. Oh, wow. I forget the name of it, but I saw, I stumbled on an article about it the other day. I meant to post about it and got busy and didn't. But yeah, if you go check it out, I forget the name of it. Um, but yeah, really cool. There it is. That's awesome. That came out so good. Marla did a fantastic job. The ship's name is Eplet. That's right. It, how's it spelled? A as a A with the two dots. Yeah. E P L E T. And, and what, translated, it's the apple. Nice. That beak is just about perfect. Like for, right? adorable. For a duck, yeah. For a right? She really, 
she really nailed that that's really cool could be a threaded you could put a threaded insert in it and make it a, a put it on a cane and you can have that's a cane right. and a clip all in that's one. right there you go for sure to carry your chips you can let your bag of crisps hang out of the yeah. end of the cane as you're walking along absolutely you can add a little uh like a uh, sound effect uh you know chip in there with a the small battery and you press a button and it goes whack, 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 whack. love it no 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 that'll be a real duck um carved duck call that will be on the side of the cane oh there you go that's oh, right that's a brilliant good idea. <clears throat> nice love snowmen are snowmen snowmen are taking over the world snowmen and women Nice. Adorable. Love it. Now it makes me want to do one with Daleks. I'll carve like a whole army of Daleks. <laughs> Exterminate! <laughs> nice. And there's my, uh, this was done on my phone because that's where you can see the recent and you don't get that on the, the desktop version of it. Oh, that's fantastic. nice. Those look, That's those so look cool. so good, Rachel. <laughs> so brilliant. <laughs> Love it. So sardonic and yet so nice. Right? <laughs> Just brilliant. All right. I think that was everything. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm you gonna... want some feedback? You were only missing two from what was in recent on the... Um... Oh, do you? can you share? Do you want to... No, I'm looking at it on my phone because I can't oh, do it never on, mind. on the iPad either. But I just thought I'd check to see how many do you okay. didn't have. Uh, right. But you were talking about there being no ID and you under the sun. This is um, a spoon from Sue's with not just a scoop on the end, but a clip like yours, uh, Suzanne. Oh, it was <laughs> prophetic. She knew that this challenge was coming somehow, and she foresaw it. The idea was there, and she executed. Brilliant. And that's from like two, two years, I think, right? No, yeah. See that? You are so far ahead of your time. Who gave it the DeLorean? <laughs> the rest of the world is finally just now catching up. See? <laughs> I'm That's so awesome. jealous of your chair right now or of Sloy Dad's chair. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> I almost took this call in my hammock that hangs behind me typically, but I was like, nah, nobody wants to see me in a hammock. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, with that, uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up again. Mozzie, thank you so much. Thanks to Sunny for putting together the PDF and getting it posted up onto the site. Don't forget to jump in and download off of riseupandcarve.com our challenge number 44. Is that right? No. Yes. Yeah, challenge number yes. 44, uh, double-ended measuring spoon. Perfect for all of your upcoming holiday cooking and baking needs. Um, so, yeah, with that, awesome. I'm going to sign off. Thank you, everybody, and fantastic job to one and all.